everyone and say hello to my hair in its natural state yeah this is what it looks like when I don't do anything about it because some people have lovely wavy hair or curls or just plain straight I'm stuck with this anyway I got a shelf now I love shelves shelves are amazing we love shelves Oh yeah. Anyway. Hi everyone, this is Payana and welcome to my book club and welcome to 2020. Happy New Year. Because this is the first video I'm filming in 2020 despite the fact it will probably be released several weeks from now so you're watching me from the future. Hi. And today we're going to be having a look at the Bone Witch series by Rin Chepeco who is a Filipino author. Well, she lives in the Philippines, according to her bio. Yeah, apparently people in the Philippines write books. It's not just about beach parties. In a fantasy world where witches exist, a 12-year-old girl called T. Yeah, that's her name. And I really would like to know what kind of administrative error happened to make that occur. All the other sisters are named after flowers. Did the mother just run out of ideas or did this happen? Your new baby is a girl, madam. Congratulations. What are you going to call her? Tea! Oh, okay. No, I mean I want tea now! Anyway, she is 12 years old when her elder brother Fox... The boys have animal names. Some people shouldn't be allowed to give names to their kids. They should leave it to someone else. Like, sometimes weird shit happens but yeah um <laughs> tea is 12 years old when her older brother dies in a war he's killed by a kind of demon-like creature there are demon-like creatures in this world called devas and she well she has trouble coping with his passing as i imagine any younger sister would if their brother dies so in that event, she brings him back to life. Well, sort of. Because it turns out that T is a bone witch, a necromancer capable of raising the dead and also controlling the deva demon creatures that need to be put down periodically. So that is the life installed for her. As soon as her powers become obvious, the rest of the villagers start shunning her. She is locked away until another bone witch can come and take, take her away, basically, to be properly trained where all the other witches go. Because, you know, it's not exactly like Harry Potter. It's more like... They're, they're kind of like geisha, these witches. It is kind of very uh, Eastern culture inspired. And they are kind of like geishas. So they learn to dance. They learn to entertain guests. They learn to sing. They learn to play music. And they also learn to fight with weapons and spells, obviously. Also have to go and meet with an oracle who gives them predictions. This strange, mysterious character who lives in their city and that no one seems to know anything about other than that her predictions tend to come true. T ends up visiting her quite a lot. She goes through with her training and becomes surprisingly close to the prince, the son of the king of this kingdom and also his cousin, who is commanded to train her. There are power plays between other kingdoms, and everyone also seems to be fighting a hidden war with these rather terrible magicians called the Faceless, who do rather evil things. 
everyone wants to see T because she's a bone witch, which are actually quite rare and one of the only two left alive because nobody really likes them despite the fact they're the ones who control these terrible demons who want to kill everyone so they're kind of indispensable but nobody likes them because it's nice to feel wanted when your job is basically to sacrifice yourself in order to help everyone stay alive Yeah. So everything goes as it should until one day one of the Deva demons erupts in the middle of a dance representation in their city and has to be dealt with by T because her mentor is sick. Only she has a rather different way of dealing with it. Instead of putting it to rest as she's supposed to, she takes control of its mind and it basically becomes her pet. So this diva who's in uh, like a dragon sort of creature becomes her companion. Because who wouldn't want a dragon as a pet? Seriously. I found lovely about T's story is she does have rather a lot of friends. She has a lot of people rooting for her even though uh, she's not really liked. There is this sort of weird odd atmosphere surrounding her but she does have a lot of friends and and people around her and her brother fox whom she rose from the dead he now he's sort of this living dead kind of creature who is essentially her familiar so like a witch's familiar although you normally think of a witch's familiar as being a cat or a bat or whatever but in this case it's her brother And he pretty much continues living his life as he did before he died. He even gets involved with a princess from a foreign land. Because... Love. Yay. T finds out very rapidly that the elder witches who control everything seem to have it in for her. They have a lot of things against her. A lot of problems... And they basically want to control her life. Things that, well, she doesn't really agree with. She spends a lot of time running away on her dragon, basically, with her friends. And, yeah, she finds, she goes to different kingdoms. She travels a lot. She's welcome there, unwelcome. She's hiding, not hiding. And all of this time, her friends... Uh, with her. Eventually she discovers that one of the faceless was actually hiding amongst the witches disguised as one of their servants and she has some rather interesting information for T. She tries to win her over to the faceless cause rather unsuccessfully but the information she has kind of tickles T, which leads her to dis uh, many discoveries. Certain things are being hidden from the witches, especially from the bone witches. Through all her travels, she uncovers rather disturbing <laughs> truths until she does eventually get removed from all society and ends up in exile, which kind of brings us back to the end of the book. The books are constructed in... A rather interesting way because they start off uh, with her as pretty much an adult on a beach surrounded by every single demon all the devas are there and she's telling her this is her telling her story throughout the entire book and it's kind of you kind of have two timelines going along at the same time you've got her as an adult timeline doing what she's planned what after all the information about all the lies about the kingdoms the power plays the faceless the secret of immortality and magic and the origins of the world and everything there are a lot of layers to this book it's pretty it's pretty good i, I thought it was pretty good um but yeah, it starts off with her telling her story to a scribe who 
spend some time with her she's written everything down she tells him part of the story and the all the books are divided you've got one chapter uh with her telling her story and then a chapter of like uh, uh, what her story is like the narrative that she's telling uh so you have these two timelines between like that sort of jump backs and forwards uh between every single chapter and i like it's, it's it's clever it's cleverly constructed cuz nothing's given away um so yeah yeah i thought it was very well constructed i thought it was very well done i love clever books and this world as i say you've got all these different kingdoms you've got all these different power plays uh, the layers of it are really, really good. You've got T and her relationship with, you've got her brother, you've got her relationship with the prince, with the prince's cousin who's supposed to train her in combat. You've got her friends and her mentor. And sisters, you've got the people who work for the witches, the ones who create the clothes and the jewellery. You've got the oracle and the faceless and dealing with them and it gets, so, it gets very big basically why does my phone keep buzzing i don't know why it keeps doing that it just buzzes for no reason so this is a trilogy there are three books in this uh lovely rather lovely series so that was the bone witch trilogy by rin Chepeco. i hope you enjoyed it i hope you will enjoy it i hope you read it i i, I did get a huge buzz about this um so yes on the basis of that I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, Hodor, for wanting to come and ruin everything. Are you okay there? Hey? Everything's fine. Everything okay with you?